live, but not really. It's all a lie. Okay. Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. Sailor Moon. Hello and welcome to another fun collab video. Today we're going to talk about Sailor Moon Crystal and who's here with me. Who are you? This is Sydney. We um, am I your boss? I think I'm your boss. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're my Not boss. for long. Anyway, Sid is a longtime Mooney, a fellow <laughs> millennial and Sailor Moon fan. Okay, so Sailor Moon and I first started our relationship back in the 90s. It was always a thing where I had to like rush home. The reason why you have to get home is because you have no DVR. This is before DVR and streaming this and like whatever. And how fast can you really rush when you take the buzz? So I remember one time I missed the bus and I was so pissed and I was like, I need to get home because Sailor Moon and Power Rangers, like, I can't miss the episode that's coming up. God, I also was, love Power Rangers. Which Power Ranger are you? Pink, but also white. But he was a yeah. boy, but I didn't care. And of course, who doesn't love Tommy? You're in the golden era. <laughs> Everything is on everywhere. And uh, what I wanted to get to was you just watched Sailor Moon Crystal for the first time. Yes. The whole thing. Yes, I did. That yeah. is fresh in your mind. <laughs> Let's just start at episode number one. First impressions of, because I know that I had a very different first impression of Sailor Moon Crystal when I watched the first episode than when I did when I watched the rest of the show. I know you had recently watched the classic show again, and the first episodes, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. You put on Sailor Moon Crystal for the first time. First impressions, how was it? Uh, th they look different. I'm so used to the other one, and I'm like, okay, well, get that out of your brain. What else? And I was trying to give it a chance. Each episode that came after, I'm just like, this is, this is really different. I like how they have like actual uh, powers. Very interesting to sprinkle in there, but it's just very fast, right? The pacing's pretty nuts. You know, this came out, what, within like seven, oh my God, when did Sailor Moon Crystal come out? I have a computer. This is what happened. It was originally streaming online and then they actually put it on TV in Japan. So the stream was mm -hmm. 2014, seven years. So seven years ago, it was before the plague. I was pretty lucky. Four I, wars and seven. It was a million years ago. I was Abraham Lincoln and I went to an anime con. It was the day that that came out. They did a fucking streaming of it. There was like a line out the door. I think I made it to like the second screening and it was the day that this had just come out in America. Cause it also came out at like a weird time in the morning, like three in the morning or something weird like that. I get in line and they start the first episode. Sid, this show made me want to cry. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, it's Sailor Moon and it's back. And everybody was like together. When she transformed, people were like cheering and shit. And I was, I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I had a great time. I was so excited. I was like, they're finally gonna do it justice. It's gonna be so good. The designs are more elegant and the girls look older and more like fashion models, like, you know, with the long legs and stuff. I mean, it was a little stiff. Yeah, and I didn't like the 3D transformation, but it was fun. It was like new, it was different. First episode, and then every episode that came after, I kind of felt like you where it was like, what's happening here? This is moving too fast. Not a lot of stuff's happening. And by the way, that's how it is in the comic. The comic is just like, uh. just blowing through it. So, you know, here comes Sailor Mercury episode. How are you feeling about Sailor Mercury and her portrayal and the Jedi? people and the oh god they just die so fast it's like yeah it's like dead. okay bye the way that i saw it was like picture this you watch the flash my grandma watched the flash A tv show right yeah she told me it was like a novella i feel like he literally grabs me by the hand and is dragging me through this dark tunnel with all these lights and then he's like oh there's Ami, there's Usagi, there's Ami. Oh, and that's Mamo. Don't blink because now they're in love. It's like, Oh okay, my God. Okay. Wait, slow down. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're looking too far into it. I think there were adaptations that needed to be made. For example, Chibi Usa's obsession with her father. Why you gotta put that in there? No, but seriously, like even towards the end, it was like, oh, he's mine. And then she kissed him. I was like, don't do that. People tell you, they're like, that wasn't Chibi Usa. That was Black Lady. 
she's not an older version of somebody else. It feels it's like there's right. things they should have changed and they didn't. One of them was the speed. Yeah. Oh man, what I thought Sailor Moon Crystal was going to be was so completely different from what it was. I was hoping that it would just be animated really nicely. <laughs> It's yeah, just yeah. not. <laughs> There's so much you can do with Sailor Moon. Put her like on the rooftop at night, you know, running around. Show like cool action, like Naruto running, like not necessarily Naruto running. Right. Scenes, but, like show show her and the Sailor Senshi skipping across town to get where they need to go. Like and just, just like some... bop, bop, bop off building. Yeah, like right? jumping like, and cool. shit. You could have them jumping and then like tuxedo mask is behind them or Flying I don't know. There's more air. visuals Shh, with this cape. They had that where they could jump from the first floor up into the 200th floor of a building. They barely used that, and I'm just not understanding why. There were parts where she was like, Oh, Tuxedo Mask, come save me. And I'm like, Bitch, you were just being so strong and like showing everyone how, you know, you can do this on your own. And then it's like, Oh, come save me. Have you read the lyrics to the theme song for Sailor Moon Crystal? It says something like, I don't need a prince to save me, I can save myself. And yet, what's going on in the show then it's a f-ing lie the lyrics at least like the theme song grew on me it grew on me over time and i heard the theme song i saw what it meant and i was like wow this is gonna be real great and empowering um we're never really alone ah, ah. ah. <laughs> uh, i'll never want the prince on his horse to come and rescue me we will always fight let me tell you something nice. even the horse part is a lie because a horse shows up later on <laughs> Jeez. oh I want to bring something up. There was a music video for Sailor Moon Crystal that came out before the show. And it was probably one of the reasons that I was really excited for Sailor Moon Crystal. Because despite the fact that I've kind of like shit on it over time, I was really excited because this music video was beautiful. And I guess I'll show it to you since we're here. Uh I'm going to actually have to blur the video because copyright. Yeah. This is this was before the show. Look how good this shit looks. I wanted this. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, so dramatic. No, (laughs) I was like, she's following someone, catch her. And then Tuxedo Mask is all dramatic. He's like, I won't because I'm evil now. I know we're only a minute in, but like, did you see the animation? It was beautiful. That was so pretty. That was great, but it wasn't what I saw on the show. I thought it was going to be good. And I'm only bringing this up because someone mentioned it on Twitter very recently. They were like, remember that music video? It was so beautiful. They didn't even use any of the animation from it. I don't know if you're as mad as I am. Like watching this now, after like I've seen Sailor Moon Eternal. Is reigniting your your anger. (laughs) I think it even looks better than Sailor Moon Eternal. Like even, okay, so like character designs. Ooh, ooh, character designs. You know, people were real mad about the designs and then Toei was like, we're going to change it. And then everybody was like, "Eh, I don't know. Some people were happy. Some people were angry. And then they changed it again and everybody was angry. (laughs) What anime do you watch where like every season they look completely (laughs) different? What is that? I'm heated. I need to bring it down here. (laughs) The moonlight carries the message of love. Did you like the first character designs? Do you like season three? What's going on? Oh, fun topic. I agree with you. Okay, so also, my comparison is just, oh, compared to the first Sailor Moon, like the original, and then now Sailor Moon Crystal. I literally don't watch any anime. Like, you gave me a long list of things to watch, and I'm like, okay. I love to spread the anime love, (laughs) even when people don't want me to. I'm taking it all in. I'm more like, since I love Sailor Moon so much, like what's like Sailor Moon to kind of like ease me in there, but you gave me a lot that's not even like it. What is that? I can see. This is Utena. It's made by the director of season three mm-hmm. of Sailor Moon. You know, season three was like the good one. The good director? That show is batshit oh, and I love it. Moon. Character designs. First couple seasons. What do you think? Favorite? Not favorite? This I really don't know because... No reaction is, is a reaction. I thought it didn't even look like anime because I kind of thought they would make them like the way Sailor Moon Eternal looks like. I thought it was going to be a little more like that. Like maybe they would go with like a modern style. I'm still getting used to that style. Hi, guys. (laughs) It's cute. I don't dislike it. But what they came out with, this is going to be weird to say, but it felt like an American anime with like the brown lines. I don't know. 
it was like comic-y. I guess let's jump to season three. So you start season three. What do you think? Wait. Okay. So remind me how season three started. That's the, with that the outer century. Uranus. Um, <laughs> Uranus really going hard how li- how much she liked Usagi and like that whole like stealing a kiss thing again and I'm just like Whoa, what does your girlfriend think though like their situation with Sailor Pluto later on makes me think that they were always open to a third person in the group I guess I don't know you'll see when you watch Sailor Moon Eternal <laughs> so season three is where they stopped doing the 3D transformations and they look slightly younger what do you think about it or are you just like man animation's animation who gives a shit not, not who gives a shit. I just, I feel like I have nothing else to compare it to. So for me, it was just like, it is what it is. It's whatever's happening. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> Surprise, well, we we're go. on Twitter. <laughs> so season one and two on the left and season three on the right. It's just different. That's kind of like what I was telling you. Like when going from the original and then going to that really like brash doll like look i prefer the season three look i like that it moved better so here here's the thing that's actually really weirding me out right now i never really liked the first season style and i always preferred season three because i thought it was animated better well i still think it's animated better but looking at these still images i'm actually really surprised that i really prefer the left (laughs) <laughs> season one. <laughs> and maybe it's because I know what's to come where they look like little itty bitty babies in Sailor Moon Eternal. And I've said very different things in the past than I have now, but I have character development. I'm allowed to change my opinion. I, this is like blowing <laughs> my mind right now. Here's another one. I, I don't know. I, I like the way that season three is animated, but here I just, there's something. Well, no, here kind of doesn't look good, but you know, I appreciate that it was different. Shout out to username Chibi Mokona Piff. Shit. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> See, but with her, she looks good in both. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's fun. It's a little strange. She's a little funny here too. But you get to this one and it's like, oh boy! How is this not a meme? <laughs> they have Sailor Moon Eternal comparisons too. Because I I don't even know what they look like. I haven't watched the trailer. Season 3 is on the left and Sailor Moon Eternal is on the right. I'll be real with you. Your silence speaks volumes. You said, I like how it's more blue. Wow. No, I I don't know. I want to still stick with season 3. And the other one said she looks more like tealish. Yeah, like teal, yeah. Gives me the um, Neptune vibes. What is going on over here? She fell nearly two miles from a plane and walked away? I'm sorry, what? Is you know what? Yeah. Bringing up the fact that we were rushed through season one through three, maybe you can cut down on the watching them fucking transform for the, like, million times. I know, and it doesn't get better. Uh, it actually Like, works. there was a time where it's like, okay, I appreciated when they did them at the same time and you would get the beginning of each. They would do beginning, beginning, beginning middle 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 and then end 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 and then i was like okay i think now i can go and take my pee break or something without pausing it's like you rush us through everything else like you could have cut you could have added like five minutes of oh wait you didn't actually mean you were going on a pee break i thought you were going on a pee break you picked up what i was putting down whoa see (laughs) what is that brush doll looking thing the shiny shimmery oh all the way to the right oh that's the comic book i don't know this is the comic book, right? And all the way to the left is Sailor Moon Crystal Season 1. They were trying to make it look like the comic mm-hmm. book. You'll see what they were going for with that first Sailor Moon Crystal style by looking at the comic book images. Ah, uh, I see. Like the eye shapes and stuff. Not- so evil. Which one? Oh, here. Yeah, she so looks a little right evil there. in the Season 3 <laughs> artwork. I don't know why. And then here is the Eternal style. I do like it, but... When you compare it to season three, then I'm like, no, I like season three. Season three felt more like anime. 
What is this last one? All the way to the right. Claymation? In, no, in Universal Studios Japan, they had a 4D uh, Sailor Moon ride. It wasn't a ride. It was like, you know, the Terminator ride at Universal. So it's a show like that. Well, this is the animation style that they used for it. I could show you a trailer for it. It's really awesome. I wish they would just, just make movies in 3D. I don't give a shit. Anime is anime. We've already had how many 2D versions of Sailor Moon? Like, just give me like the Jimmy I mean, Neutron. You can only have so many. Aww. Oh, that's cool. I love it. I don't know why they didn't just do that, would, that. I mean, maybe the next one that they try to redo again. Oh, it, speaking of that, when everybody's like slowly dying off, like every single time someone was injured and she'd be like, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Mercury. Like we know their names. Yes, the four of them, they're all gone. Like, come on, move it along or like, do something oh, no. to help them. I have a question. Three is when they have like the four kings, the four no, um, that's one knights. The four knights is all the way in one. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! A lot happens. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so the four guardians are dead, and then even the king when they die at the end, she's able to like bring back her guardians. I'm kind of like. So they, they can be brought back? Like, why can't they be brought back? That was a change from the comic as well. Oh, it's this so funny that I'm speaking <laughs> Fucking Sailor Moon Crystal is always like, it's going to be accurate to the manga. No. No. In the original comic, Mamaru turns them into the stones and he routinely calls upon their spirits for guidance and they reappear in spirit form. I mean, even that would have been nice. I don't understand if everybody literally can be brought back to life. Like, how selfish of you to not bring back their love interest so then they can, you know, have their love interest. What? <laughs> in the comic, they were not their love interests. Ah. There's a piece of artwork where they're paired up with the Sailor Senshi, and it's been a fan theory forever that that was the intent. And then when Crystal was making those connections, like, oh my god, are they actually going to make them couples this time? That's going to be awesome. And then they really did it. Um, <laughs> Sailor Moon Crystal baffles me. And I have watched it again after watching it the first time, but years ago when I got the Blu-ray. And never again. Sailor Moon original I watch all the time. <laughs> what do you think about the music? Like the, the intro song? Because mm -hmm. I liked it. I mean... Okay, I'm also the type of person that, like, when you watch the episodes, like, back to back, like, I don't watch the, the intro again. The only times that I do it is where, like, if it's a new season. But isn't it the same same intro song each time? Just for seasons one and two, and then season three actually different. has the same song, but different singers. It has three versions of the intro. Um, wait. What they didn't do is there's no intro for the f***ing movie. So... Wait, so the movie just starts. It's weird. No, alright. <laughs> so you guys so are just sad. like ruining so many things. Just starts like a regular old movie. It's absolutely bizarre for an anime movie. It's fucking weird. Right, now that I got Crystal out the way once I watched the movie, I'm like, oh, well, I'm just gonna keep on watching the original, especially season five. I mean, season five really, I feel like I was being tortured just because I just wanted her to know that Mamo wasn't there. If I watched Sailor Moon Crystal before the original, I don't think it would turn into, oh, I gotta get like t-shirts and like, I would love to watch it again and again. Like, I, I think I'm fine with what I watched. Will I ever watch it again? Like, I don't know. I feel like I was very rushed. Everybody likes different parts about Sailor yeah. Moon. Um, but I saw a really great video on YouTube pretty recently explaining why you should just watch the original show over the other pieces of media. Because Sailor Moon has, and I don't know if you know this, but there's musicals. There's a live action show that's like Power Rangers. I love it a lot. Yeah, I'm going to try to watch that one. I personally think that it is, in terms of story, one of the best versions because they take things to their logical conclusion. You'll watch Crystal and you're like, oh, Princess Serenity killed herself because Tuxedo Mask died, whatever. And the live action takes that and they add an element to the show. And I don't want to give it away. When oh, okay. Sailor Moon remembers her past, the personality of Princess Serenity takes over her body and she's a different Ooh. person. Okay. It's really good. I think since you just watched Classic and you just watched the fifth season for the first time, right? All alone in the Sailor Moon universe by myself, right? Props to... Man, what is his... Seiya. Oh, how can I forget? Seiya! Yeah, I like the fact that he's basically like, 
hey, your man did you wrong. Like, if you think about it, he went to fucking America and he hasn't talked to you this whole time. That's like really rude. And I feel like he super hard ghosted her. He ghosted her because he was a ghost. (laughs) I was fine that if he was going to be dead, like, that's it. Did I shed any tears? Because I'm an empath, I did. I was very sad and I was just like, what? Is he dead? Like, am I crazy? Did that not happen? Was that just a dream? Wait, but what did you feel when Usagi finally, Galaxia revealed that he was dead? Pure devastation. I cried harder that time. And and this one was all like talking bad about your man. Like he went to America and forgot about you. And it's like, no, he didn't. He was dead. Oh, we got it. We got to do a whole separate video about season five. Comment if you want us to talk about season five. Any excuse to talk about season five. I love yeah. season five. You know what? Someone recently commented on my YouTube. Oh, I made it onto the Sailor Moon deep lore part of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to be. Gold. Um, I can't be stopped. <laughs> And this I was great at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. I'm glad you had a good time. My cheeks hurt from smiling so hard. I know it hurt. Um, do you want to plug yourself? Uh, Instagram. Follow Sid for you know arts and crafts and and home sweet home signs for people. Go to Sid for home sweet home signs. That'll be oh that's fun. I want to see. I want to see now. Support for your fellow Moonies. Yay. Moonies. Moonies. That has been our Sailor Moon Crystal retrospective, but also we talked about season five because I cannot be stopped or trusted. I guess you're coming back soon. Yay! All right. (laughs) Bye. Bye. We both might have to go grab some Ew. There's still... Crystal, I feel like I was kind of, it, it's just like I got it out of the way. So then I could say I saw Sailor Moon Crystal. Crazy. There's a the story. Okay, keep moving. Just like, keep trucking. Did you not understand anything? Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to the next episode. <laughs>